Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be doing our early uh, lineup build for the um, for the showdown slate tonight. And we're going to be using the Saber Sim Contest Sims tool to do these builds. And again, the reason why I'm trying to do this uh, every day, if I can, with most of the sports, is not necessarily to show you, you know, who I'm playing because this is not necessarily who I'm playing, but just to kind of show you how these kind of new tools. Can be, can be implemented. And I'm kind of learning each day um, how to make the process run a little smoother. And I figured it would be better to do it within the context of an actual slate than do it just kind of in past slates or in theory. So yeah, you could use this as a way to analyze what you what you know what we could like tonight. But um, more to the point, it's uh gives you an early look on how I would go ahead and build. Um so the first thing I guess is I would want to upload the projections, um, the custom projections, which I I just updated. Um, they're still not, you know, obviously very, very tight at this early hour, but we will save these. And they're, they're all in there, trust me. Um, Let's, um, just for the hell of it, just so we see that they are all safe. Let's uh, just start all over. We'll upload from our file. This way we know that they are all actually there, right? See it? Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I want to just run a, um, just a straight lineup build. Okay, we're gonna do, I don't know, 100 lineups, something like that, showdown. Now, this is what I want to do. Normally, I would do a, uh, a salary max um, if I was just building in normal. But because we're going to let the SIM calculator, uh, the SIM tool, figure out what lineups to best pair with our contest, we're going to not do a manual salary um, max. We're just going to leave it as normal. So let's first, let's build, oh, we'll build 100, 100 lineups see what it looks like and we're going to look at two things we're going to look at what the lineups look like just in general and then we will resort them based on our contest simulation uh, uh, settings and I already preloaded those we're going to be playing in in two tournaments today the uh, the main MME showdown and the two-point conversion now again uh, you would enter the stuff within contest sim setting and what you would do is you would enter in information like what type of field you expect to be up against and saber shim ownership is usually the best way to do this and i already entered the contest size 176,400 people uh 50 goes to first in that particular contest and it's important to get this right because listen when you need to get in the you know when when first is 50 percent of the of the prize pool you have to be a lot more different uh a much greater uh Mm, slant towards uniqueness and uh, hitting first place than normally where percent to first is about 20-25%. Um, we also for the what I say for the two point conversion we made that one again only 3,000 entries but that's only 25% for first so it's a little bit of a different type of build. So what we've done now is we built 200 100 lineups but they're being rated just by your normal single game um, rating, okay? And it is a showdown slate, it is a single game. Um, so this technically is correct. But what this does not do is it does not, you know, tailor these builds for the particular contests that you're in. You know, what, what a good lineup here might be for the two-point conversion might not necessarily be good for the lottery, in fact, you know, and, and vice versa. So what we have to do is resort these for the particular contest. Um, uh, but, um, we have to go to these drop downs. So we have, uh, where are these? Oh, do we have to, you know, we have to do we have to save these settings. Sorry. Save the settings for two point conversion. Sorry about that. And then we have to save the settings for the showdown. See, is this one saved as well? 
save settings there. And now we have to rerun this. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, sorry. Because we just did the regular lineup builds, now we have to do the contest sim given the settings that we just kind of put in here. Sorry about that. It should take about, you know, between 30 to 45 seconds. It's only two different contests. I guess it's worth looking at um, what we would get before we did the contest sim adjustment. You see a whole bunch of captains. Um, let's see how running the contest sims will change that, if at all. So let's first sort this by the uh, showdown. So we're going to sort this by ROI, and you'll see everything change a little bit. And so this is what lineups look like when you're trying to maximize ROI specifically against the showdown slate ownerships and the showdown slate uh, lineup bills. Okay. Now, what this does not do is intentionally leave money on the table. Uh, it just completely just takes the settings that you put in and figured out the best hundred lineups rated by ROI against them. So the one thing that you'll note is that, um, I don't know, I don't know what, what what's, on the surface, you don't really see that much difference. You saw the, all the lineups change, but you don't see too much difference. One thing I will note, I guess, is that, well, still a bunch of three threes and four twos. So this is typically the, the types of lineups that we'd want to put in the lottery because they've been specifically tailored for that, um, for that tournament. Now, if you want to see what that would be, um, uh, top owned captain would be I'm on St. Brown, but it's pretty spread out. You know, Laporta, Love, Reed, you're getting some, some sprinkles of, of, of lower owned uh, captains as well. And 25 players in the flex. So what we want to do is we want to upload these lineups to our contest. So we do this. Um, well, let's do this. Well, actually, what we need to do is we need to, to um, what, what should we call it? I think we need to upload the new entries because we did a couple of changes. So now we'll select the file. So now we go back to the lineups here. We will save these to build one, sorry. So we will save these to the showdown, save it to this contest. You see that little jiggle, jiggle there, which means that something changed. And now let's do the two point conversion. So the two point conversion is different, you know, much few, you know, far fewer uh, entrants. So you don't need to be quite as different. We only need to really sort for one lineup here. So you see this is like a much more normal type lineup with the exception of this A green at 200, in the, uh, in the flex, and that's sort of interesting. Um, so let's save that one to the two-point conversion. And then we can just download these. Edit, upload. And we're in. I'd like to just confirm that it represents what I thought it represented. So we can go in here. Uh, yep. Actually, we have a couple of dupes in here to figure out why that is. Probably because, again, I had previous lineups in here. So I didn't do a good job with the entry editor, actually. So I need to work on that. So it looks as though what, what I would want in the Two-point conversion would be this. Oh, did I mess this up again? Really did, didn't I? Right. So what I have to do, this is why I learned. Like each day, I forget to do this. We're going to try this again. We're going to go back, and I'll show you the mistake that I made. And Jordan talked me through this before, and I just can't seem to remember to do this. When you put 
your lineups together. So these are the 50 lineups I want in the showdown. I mean, in the uh, in the in the lottery, I should want 100 lineups. We could save the contest, but we need to sit, use this method of, of putting them in. Otherwise, there was not uploading anything. So we're going to put unique random. And now we're going to save the contest. You saw it jiggle. Now we're going to go back to two-point conversion. Sort that by ROI. Save this. Two-point conversion. Now I think... This, this is the file that I want. So you have to remember to keep doing that, is to, is to pick the method of, of filling your lineups. Otherwise, it's not going to load anything. Now we check it. You'll see it's different. Yeah. So now we have this big, this main lineup with the, with the uh, A green in the two-point conversion and all these other ones. Oof. All right. Uh, let's do uh, FanDuel as well. Now in FanDuel, all we did was the um, was the, the the lottery. So let's pull that one up. Single game. Let's do the same thing. Let's upload the projections. here um I guess that works and we will build lineups we'll build 50 lineups as usual and again we're not going to do any salary cap thing because again we're presumably tailoring these to the contest anyway so there's no need to manually do something that would make it more unique because you're already in theory having the system create lineups that that maximize EV, which includes, I guess, getting unique. Because what it does is it does factor in what lineups are going to be built in the in the in the contest. So if if the if the simulator is going to project for for the for like 35 dupe lineups or 50 dupe lineups, I imagine it's going to try to uh find lineups and avoid those. I'm gonna ask that in the um I'm gonna ask that in the office hours actually. Next time I have a chance. Okay, so here's just the raw lineups without having been uh, adjusted for the contest. Now let's do the contest sim settings. Add contest sim. We're going to just call this the, I guess, the lottery. And let's see how many, I'm curious how many entrants there are in this on FanDuel. I imagine the technical answer is a Carlo. Not a Carlo. More than a Carlo. Um, so let's just see. NFL. Single game. It's going to be only 132,275. Okay. Oh, mostly 132,375. How much the first in this bad boy? 200,000. 20%. No problem. So we'll save the setting. And now we will run this contest. So before we ran the contest, and it's, it's important to note, uh, it had Jordan Love as the highest own MVP, followed by Goff, St. Brown, and Aaron Jones. Let's see if we resort this by the lottery here, ROI, how that changes. Not all that much, if you want to know the truth. And it shuffles around a little bit, but it doesn't change it all that much. So nonetheless, let's, uh, again, save these to contests. And the way we do that, first we have to, um, let's do it straight from here. Download file from, from FanDuel. We have to wait. Then CSV edit, but we want NFL, right? Um, and we want single game. We don't want. We don't care about the slate for this weekend, which is already in there.
CSV edit, download. Okay, so it's there. Now we can go pull this up. Um, and again, unique random saved in there, saved to contests. And we should be good. So now we will download this and replace. And we should be good. So again, it's like, we ha I just have to remember that seems to be the glitch. I mean, it's nothing wrong with Saber Sim. I would like for it to just automatically default somewhere. So it builds something. But aside from that, I have to remember to, uh, to do that each time. Um, okay, that'll be the early Sims for today. Um, and uh, again, this does not take the place of your game by game breakdown or anything like that. This is just kind of a short tutorial how to use the contest sim tools on SaberSim specific to this slide.